morning. How is everybody? <clears throat> hi, hi, hi. Oh, I look a bit rubbish today. No, it didn't feel too good last night. I had sore glands and oh, it was awful. Got the lurgy, I think. It's fine yesterday during the day, too. Dee 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 dee. How is everybody? Let's see who's coming on. Um, let me get this sorted. Hello, hello. Um, hiya, hiya, Karen. Oh, come on, phone. This phone isn't working. Morning, Emma. How are you? Uh, what am I looking for? Facebook. Hope you're well. Morning, Barbara. How are you doing? Uh, what am I looking for? Facebook. Right, yeah. Right, there we go. We've got six here. Who else is here? Hi, Joanna. How are you? Hope you've all got a cuppa. I tell you, I've got a sore, sore, sore back. I don't know what I've done. But we've got physio on Tuesday, so that's fine. Hi, Jackie. Oh. Morning, Margaret. How are you? Yay. I just want to quickly show you. Hi, Ali. Why are people coming on? Um, people have been asking about the mini pocket dice. Do, 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 do. From there. So I made some of these little um, cute little pockets with some two little nail files in them. Morning. So four out of the five are away to customers already. Um, hi, Ramona. You've got a couple of a cat on your lap, Margaret. Oh, I love your cat. I really wish I wasn't allergic to cats, to tell you. I wish I wasn't. I would have lots of those gorgeous cats. Um, yeah, so how is everybody? Going to make a card today using, or two cards, using a sweet that I thought I really liked and then I kind of went off it and it's in the annual catalogue and I'm still still not keen on it but I think it's going to work for this project and it is the tea boutique because I have the papers, I've got the stamps and dies, I've also got these notelets. Hi Gemma! Um, I've got the notelets um, with the coordinating envelopes so I thought I'm going to make a wee of these cards using that sweet and then hi Kirsten and then I know it's going to look good um because I want to get it used up I mean look I've got all those so there's no point in it lying to the side right so just a couple of wee things going on in the business side of things I didn't have time yesterday to close off my workshop order so if anybody wants anything ordering um at tea time let me know I've got Two, three small orders for people to pop through um, and I will give you a message later on as promised. Um, if you're shopping online, um, it'll be a different code after tea time. So um, let me know if you're wanting anything ordered. And I was a bit behind. I put up a, a post about a crafty swap. In, hi, Susan. In the Crafty Sampling Club group. So um, what it is, is it's UK only swap. Um, Emma saying, love the tea boutique, haven't used it in so long. I know, and we often just put things to the side, don't we? Hi, Susan. So, I've had to rejig the dates on this. So, in the Crafty Sam Club group, if you add your name by the end of today, tomorrow I will put up the swap list, uh, Sunday the 19th. Um, you will then need to message your partner direct. Uh, don't share your, your personal details online or in the, in the group as such. Um... And then we're looking to have the swap sent out by last week in April. So it's a swap where three or four crafty items that you've handmade. Um, keep it to a small package size. Um, I think if you do it online, it's £2.85 or something. Try not go over that. Um, morning, Michelle. And that makes sure everybody gets the same kind of amount of stuff. So you could put a card in, a notepad, decorate notepad, bookmark, a little cross stitch you've made a chocolate treat that's in a box, 
decorated post notes, anything like that. So um, go and take that out in the Crafty Stamping Club page. Also a reminder for March, we have the Circle One Flowers Card Sketch Challenge. Um, or for any crafts, Circles and Flowers is a prompt, so whatever that encourages you or inspires you to make, uh, do enter. And um, I've noticed that we've... I was, we were over 600 members, but we're back down to 600 now because we've got some some went away, so that's fine. So I thought I'll do a 600 member giveaway post. Doo -doo. So to enter, UK only, I'm afraid to keep postage costs down for me. I've got three little gifts, so I will pick three names at random. All you need to do between now and... Uh, da -da -da -da, now and Sunday night is put a photo of your favourite Stampin' Up! product. Hi, Lynn. Put a photo of your favourite Stampin' Up! product on the post and comment why it's your favourite. You've got to do those two parts in the one uh, comment. So I have three ephemera packs. Um, so I've got the Abstract Beauty nice colourful pack. We have the Expressions in Ink ephemera pack. So this has the gold foil bits in it. And we have this gorgeous little leaf label and amber gem combo pack for those that like autumn and what have you. So that's the three little gifts. Um, so I'll draw that Sunday night as well and I'll do these crafty swap. Um, any match too. So um, I will apologise if I'm a bit funny today because I really am not feeling too great. Um, I've definitely got the lurgy of some sort. So let me flip you around in a minute. So if you've got this punch, you see that? And if you've got a little circle punch, good. If not, you will need squares and circle shapes. Oh, looking nice from what is saying. Yay. Hi Tracy. Um because we can make shift if you don't have if you don't have them. So right, let me shift my coffee. So excited. Let me flip you around. Right, so you see my window there. Ooh, look at my fancy desk. <laughs> I've went back to covering up my white IKEA desk because it was getting off the monkey and it was getting it was getting all marked and stuff. And it just you know when you clean and clean it doesn't seem to clean right. So I thought I'll go back to this for a wee change. Um oh I must hope you feel better soon. Thank you. I don't know if it's my Amy because if I overdo things it can make me feel like I've got the flu. Um, that's like the physical, physical bit. And then the other part is the fatigue. To be honest, feeling like you've got the flu is better than the fatigue, if I'm if I'm being honest. So, right. So what we're going to make today, I started making this card. Was it yesterday morning? So this is inspired by my upline, Sam, who at a recent crafty weekend showed us how to do little handbag um little handbag decorations on the front of a card and i remember thinking oh i could use this punch and make little aprons so i thought that's what i'll do i meant to finish the card so i could show you all today and then forgot <laughs> so but it's fine because i'll go through the process so it is really really sweet look at that and what we're going to do is we're going to stamp on the um, stamping layer as well so I am using the tea boutique, a cup of tea, so I have the stamp set, papers, also got the in colour glimmer paper there, I have got the in colour um, DSP pack there, because a lot of the colours um, are actually in these note cards and envelopes, so while you look at that pretty, I need to go and find my stamp pads. So. I'm glad these colours are sticking around another year. Hopefully. These are such bright, lovely colours. Oh, Susan, you're not feeling too great as well, honey. What a shame. So we have Sweet Sorbet, Starry Sky, Titian Tide, Parakeet Party, Orchard Oasis. However, there is more colours in this suite. Crush Curry. Ah... Uh, yeah, Kush Curry is the extra one, but we'll not use that today. Right, so, now the notelets that you get in the catalogue are American size, so I'll need to do a little bit 
calculation to get the right sizes. Right, so let me see. I think I'll do this gorgeous, gorgeous Tahitian Tide. I think I'll do a Starry Sky. And let's do a parakeet party as well. So this is a bit bashed. Right, so let's try and make three cards. We've got coordinating envelopes as well, guys. These are really pretty. Really pretty. So I'm going to try and use all these up. Pronto. Pronto, pronto. Right, now if I just fold and burnish, it'll probably be a good hour making these this morning. Right, is this a bit too close to the desk? Let me pop that up a little bit. You are going to need some twine. Now I'm running out of white twine. I need to get some more. Um, let me just get this in a better shot because I want to make sure that you don't see my desk underneath. There, that's a bit better, isn't it? That's a bit better. Fab. Oh, I've got 15 watching. That's amazing. Right, so three cards here. This is the gorgeous stamp set. So we will stamp a little background um, with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my ruler and I'm going to measure the size. In fact, I'll just use catalogue as reference. The size of these notebooks are, goodness me, I can never memorise the size of them because, um, let me see, page 137, the cards are on, because they're American sizes, so. Right, so 137. There's lots of different uh, cards and envelopes that you can get out of the catalogue. So these are folded there, five and a half by four and a quarter. So I just need a little bit of paper. I need a pencil. A little pencil. Why is it I can't find anything when I want it? Right, so we want at least a quarter of an inch border so it's going to be four by five and a quarter for the um stamping layer yes brilliant right okay i've got that in my head now let's put that away <laughs> that wasn't hard quarter of an inch right so we need some white cardstock and i'm going to use our thick cardstock she said i can find my folder E6Y, E6Y, right that's fine, so let's get this cut up, what is everybody's plans today, hi Diana, oh, we've got 18 people, that's amazing, oh, thank you for coming on, so 4 by 5 and a quarter, so 4, She's my wee trimmer here. Put that in my wee bin by five and a quarter. Now, let's see. I think I want them smaller. So we're going to do three and three quarters by five, guys. I want to show off that pretty pretty pattern um, three and three quarters I need to cut it the wrong way there three and three quarters by five da, da, da. what is everybody doing going out with my daughter family for Mother's Day yay Cara has another craft along so we're busy with that oh brilliant that's brilliant well hope you have fun ladies right oh that yeah that's better right so Three and three quarters by five. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, right, that's that one. And again, five. I should have really had these cut, but you know what? Sometimes it's good just going through the, the whole process. I'm not sure how they'll turn out. I'm sure they'll be really pretty though. Oh, excuse me, guys. Right. So, let's do this. 
Now, I'm going to stamp the same on all three pieces. Okay, and I want to add in a little bit of grey granite. Because I want the colours on the punch outs to pop out better. Um, let me get a little drink of my tea. <laughs> Dogs are batting at Ricky's and Pals and Bookers. Right, okay. He's going to get his milkshake out the fridge. Um, Ali's sitting... I can't read that, actually. Hang on, I'll put this up another way. Sitting in that dump it room and take the dinner at Mum's. Oh, sorting a dump it room. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, fab. Right, okay, I am going to use... That little stamp, and I'm also going to use the little flowers and the little stems. So that's three stamps, and then we'll decide on what sentiment later on. Right, okay, so all I'm going to do is oh, I've got a dimensional stuck in there. I'm simply going to just stamp the teacups, I was going to say tea cakes there, I must be hungry, <laughs> on the backgrounds like so, um, from here, doesn't matter if it goes off the paper, you know, when you add your other bit in, so you're going to need your little chamois to clean them off. I need to give them another rinse, they're a bit dry. Okay, and then we're going to be good and we're going to put these away as we do it. Too far too easy to lose, um, lose bits. Now I'm going to stamp off on this. Let me see how it looks, yes. So I'm going to stamp off just to get a little lighter shade without having to go down a shade in the grey. That's pretty. <laughs> Stamp off. Whoops. This one's hanging off a little bit, but that's absolutely fine. Stamp off. Sugar has a class friend over. Oh, Hi, Janice. Um... They start gymnastics with both three, they're watching you. Oh, hello, girls. Just in their pancakes and Nutella twisters. How nice. I had a couple of crumpets this morning. I didn't um, toast them long enough, so they were a bit loo. But I ate them anyway, so you'll be glad to know I've had breakfast. Right, give me a wee second. Sorry, I've got kids clear around the background. Kids clear around the background. Right, okay, so take that off. And let's see. Now, the last one is, and I bet it's sticking on something, see? Be careful because they're sticky sticky. Thanks, pal. Now, I think I will do this in a different colour. So let's put the grey away. I think I will do... I think I'll do sweet sorbet, that's what I'll do. I'm hoping to put my side row together watching the rugby Six Nations, Joanna. Oh, nice! Nice! Right, let's just see how bright I want that. You know what, I'm just going to put it on bright, what the hang. Oh, that's pretty. The only thing is when you do this on the um, backing, you don't want to be stamping all over it. <laughs> you can chop and change your colours. Some of them are just off the paper, but that's all right. Judith's looking forward to 
this evening. Very good, honey. That'll be nice. What are you cooking? Hope you're cooking or something nice, Judida. Right, okay, let's clean this off. These don't actually take long. Look how juicy that pad is. It's going a bit heavy handy. Don't do that, don't do that. <laughs> right, okay. Let's get this off. Pop it away. <laughs> There's lots of little stamps in this that are adorable. Right, we will look at this. I have popped them on a little bit wrong. That's fine. What I think is cute is wee tea bag shaped things. Right, I'm going to use this little flower and I'm going to add some whoopsie. I'm going to add some other colour onto these and then we'll make the little thingy majuggies. Right, so in fact, should I use that or should I use a little background stamp from another one? Yeah, I'm going to change my mind. Going to change my mind. Just winging it as usual. Winging it, winging it. Now, one of the background stamps I do like, not a background stamp, but one of the little kind of like infill stamps. Where is it? Where is it? Let me find it. We have the Irresistible Blooms and we've got this. This is fab. So, let us get a bigger block. And what colour will I do? Oh, decisions, decisions. I think I'll stick with grey. Grey granite. I don't know why I didn't buy this set. I do like it. Yeah, I wasn't um, entirely overly keen on it. Um, I did like it in the catalogue, so I'm just stamping to fill in some of the gaps here. You don't need to do that, but I just liked it. Um, I don't know, sometimes if it's a, a busy, busy colour scheme, it can put me off sometimes. But there's always a way around finding something you can make, so. Right, that's that done. So Irresistible Blooms, that's the online, hello is Irresistible's um, online special. Dun, 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 dun. Right, so. What we're going to do is we're just going to mat and layer the fronts onto our cards. I am doing absolutely nothing today. Like I say, I'm feeling a bit pants. Later on, I've got a fabby um, little social craft along with my lovely team ladies. I've got a little project to share. So I need to do that this afternoon. However, it's not mandatory that you do my little project. It's actually one of my outline sams that I'm going to show you. Um, the ladies can just bring their own stuff along if they want. Joanna's saying, um, Jack's saying, have you got any microphones? Is that for a very different sound today? No, but you know what I did do, Jackie? I took the um, phone cover off my phone. Um, hopefully it's it's better sounding. Because um, I think the, the phone covers can really um, distract from the good sound kind of thing. Hi, Carol. Joanna says, I haven't bought this set. It did appeal to me in the catalogue, but for some reason not enough to buy. Yes. And then you see someone playing with it and you're like, oh, wow. <laughs> Give me some of that. Give me some of that. Right, okay. So these are going to be busy looking cards, but it's absolutely fine. What we're going to do now is we're going to punch out two little aprons for each of the cards. So this is what I've got left of this um, DSP. Got some lovely coordinating patterns, and you can see these complement the cards as well. It's the same pattern, um, but we're going to use this one's gorgeous, by the way, the lemons. Um, Jackie was saying, I need to try and join in. Is it tonight the craft along for the team? Yes, it is, honey. I will put a Zoom link up in the team group in a wee while. Right, let's pick. We want three contrasting. Um, patterns. So I'm going to use the red. Oh, it's not red, it's um, what do you call it? What's it called? The red one? I forgot already. 
A sweet sorbet. Oh, Russia. Um, and what other one? I'll do the teacups. See, there's lots and lots and lots of colours. Now, this would be ideal because this is a little scrap. So, I'll maybe do that. Yep, right. Okay, let's put this to the side. I've got some fussy cut little teapots out as well. Right, okay, let's do this. So, we want this punch, which is in the... Um, my online store. So we need how many of these? Hmm. I'll just do, what I'll do is I'll do three, three of each and mix and match and then I can, um, then I can make other cards later anyway. Uh, Karen's saying, great to see some ideas I've got for it in the catalogue and then we're stuck when it arrived. Yeah, and mine's been sitting for so long. <laughs> it's terrible, terrible, terrible. Goodness, right. Right, so we've got two of that. And what other pattern did I see? What do we go with? That's a bit busy. I don't want to use one that's got the, like the purple tones in it. Let me use this. So this is gorgeous. It just screams out too busy for me, you see, at times. I think you've got to be in the mood. But these would make lovely Mother's Day cards. Not that um, I'm saying that any all mothers should have aprons on. <laughs> not saying that, but um, nice card for your granny or your friend and that as well. Right, so I am going to... Now they are quite busy looking, but don't worry. I think I'm going to use that and that, that and that. Then on this green one... And you can see this is uh, blending in a little bit too much, so I'm going to use... You know what, I think I'll punch out a green for that panicky cutty one. And this is ideal. There we go. Hello, Karen, how are you? Hope you're well, honey. I'm just going to punch out some more, actually. The more you punch out, the more you can kind of chop and change and see what you really want to do. I think the green looks quite nice on that as well. Hmm. Whereas that's a bit busy. Right, I'm definitely going to do the red and blue on that, and then I'll do the blue and this blue on that one. Did that look all right, do you think? Let me bring this down a little bit again. There we go. Can's good. How's that little dog of yours? <laughs> Emma's saying she's actually just dropped, 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 dropped. Dragged her site out to make last night Mother's Day cards. I haven't even made any, so maybe I should make these Mother's Day cards. Um, because I've got a good snap set. That says this. So, it's got mum. So you could put, to a great mum, best ever mum. Um, so I'll maybe keep that out. Right, okay, so what we need to do now is we need to get our, we need to get our um, tear and tape. So, happy to report I found this down the back of my desk. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to switch over and we're going to put a little bit of tape at the top of each of the aprons. Um, hi, Alison. Joining on phone is still empty in house, just washing 19 fuzzies for the charity shop. <gasps> Need to respect this sort of butterflies on the card. Oh, bless. <laughs> bless you. Oh, I've saw that they get there. You've got quite a lot of work to do, haven't you? Emptying the loft and what have you. Um, I've got seen lovely paper, papers. Hi, Jean. Karen seen has a cone on, as has eye infection. Oh, bless. It's getting to that time of year with the, the dust and stuff. Sometimes my girls get bothered with their eyes. All right, so I'm just putting a little bit of tape on the tops. Okay, so let me just... Bring these off like that. I was finding that I was kind of going off the um, the filming um, area. So by using this paper again, I think it'll help. These make great wee tags as well. And great for decorating if you're gifting little um, 
tea bag gifts and things. Oh, oh, I know, Jackie, I'm taking Mother's Day without your lovely mum. Oh, bless. It's so hard for people. So, so hard. Right, what we need to do is we need two bits of twine for each of the aprons. Don't let me forget, I've got to use a circle punch for something. Right, okay. So I am just basically going to... So what, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So I need twelve bits of this. Only because I'm mass producing this morning. Look at that big splodge of ink. Da -da -da. And of course I'm going to lose count, guys. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, hi, Jane. Thank you for sharing your gorgeous project in the group. It's very pretty. I always wanted to do the kind of slanted um, side boxes. I don't know if that's the right name. I just find them very intriguing. Right, so. I've got two. Four. Oh, that's only six. Let's hope I've got enough twine. Ma. Oh, dear. Oh yeah, I think I will. I think, I think I will. Yes, I do. I'm going to have to order more of that in my workshop order. So if anybody wants anything, please let me know. Right, I need my little pocky too. Oh, Janice as well. Oh, honey. Oh, it's sad. It really is. Right, so we're just basically peeling off. Now, I had coffee with Janice and Halsey and Karen last night. It was so lovely to meet up with Miss Dampin' Up Sisters. And um, Janice was like, ah, I, I was going to do, I thought that was a good idea, making a little peeny. She was like, why is it when you have an idea, someone beats you? <laughs> to be honest, it's probably been done loads of times already, Janice. But we can we can take the limelight for this one this morning, <laughs> so we can. Um, but the initial, like I say, the initial inspiration was from my lovely upline Sam. So, oh look at y'all sending hugs and support to each other. It's just beautiful. Stamping up is much more than just ink, paper, and scissors. And I'm not doing a very good job of this, however, it's sticking, so that's the main thing. You maybe want to be a little bit more, well, not as frugal with the twine. But like I say, because I was almost ready to run out, I didn't want to put too big a um, tie on it, so bad was saying exactly. Oh. And my coffee plant is doing fabulous, Barbara. I've actually got a little thing to send you today. Um, and I've got my customer thank yous from February. I'm a bit behind to send out as well today. Um, oh, you were going to make handbags from the punch. The apron is mine. Oh. Cool. Wait to see, see the next wee bit. I was like, oh my goodness, my... It's fair chuffed when I done a little protocol of it. And I even done a little pockets. We pocket on the apron. Right. So let's see now. Dun, da -da, da -dun, dun. Da -da. Right, I'm putting them all over onto their correct side facing up. And the next bit, um Camson just thinking that would make Great shopping the handbags too. Yes. Like little totes. Right, next thing we're going to do is you're going to get a little circle die or a little circle punch and we're going to punch out half circles for the little peeny pockets. The wee peeny pockets, look. Adorable. So it, does, it, it looks like kind of like a gift bag now, but once we put the pocket on, it will be absolutely fine. So again, this is good for using these scraps. All you're going to do is punch out, make sure it's the right direction, though if you're using directional papers. So I'm just going to punch out various little pockets. Um, 
not too fussy oops what they are and then i'll just have a wee play around you can make them bigger pockets or smaller pockets you can even put a little um embroidery uh, motif on it if you want um, oh bless margaret saying sending both hugs you're amazing ladies right let's do a little baby pocket for that right what else do we have here what you could do too is there is my you can tie it up a little bit um, you could use the coordinating um, DSP as well if you don't want to use patterned paper it's not as busy but we have these gorgeous gorgeous glimmer papers these are really thick so I might use these on it to make it look a little bit fancier so let me just punch out do, 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 do. And you can see I've already used the lemon dye in that one So you just need to watch your eyes because this these do go flying. Um, let's get a darker bit. You can see they've got like a gradual change in the colour. Don't know what the right terminology is for that. Right, okay, put these away. I must use all these as well before they retire. Heels to everyone fooling under the weather. Oh, bless. Um Oh, we've got 21 people watching. That's amazing. Right, now we need to decide um, what pockets goes on where. So that and that on there. I think I'll do a little bit pink and a little bit light blue on that one. And that's quite, that's a bigger pocket. Let me just trim that off because it looks a bit giant compared to the other one. Um, and then this one, I'm going to use the blue. I'm going to use the two blues actually because it's the same, same blue but different kind of gradients. Right, so let's stick these on. Morning, Jane. Oh, did you fall asleep? I woke up at half five this morning, came down, put on a washing, had a cup of tea, um, played on my phone, then went back to bed for an hour. I was up with the birds. Oh, a bit too much glue on there. Hi Louise, thanks for joining us. Do, do, do. Concentration, for sure concentration just now. You are going to need little dimensionals. Standard size. Like I say, if you don't have the, the circle punches or that punch, you could just use rectangle dies and circle dies or draw around something and uh, fuzzy cut it out here by hand. Gem is saying, iron and done, put away, clean and done. Brilliant. Yeah, you were up with the birds as well. <laughs> oh, sometimes it's good just to get peace from everybody in the morning. Just to kind of get on. Right, okay, flipping them back round. And we are going to add the dimensionals, which I've just found here. I couldn't find them earlier. Add dimensionals onto the back and then we're going to position them on the cards. So I'll bring these down a bit so you can see the cards again. So two at the top and I do like to put them over the edge of the twine that I've put on there. So this is just a bit boring but just booked on waiting for mum to arrive so I'll watch until. Oh thank you lovely. Hope you've got some nice plans today. You can see I'm staying in my pyjamas some admin to do for my stamping up business i have got well my husband has a little homer that he's hoping to start and the youngest one's football was cancelled because the pitches are all waterlogged what else husband's going to his friends with his group of his pals for a tea i've got my team get together and i'm just going to stay in my pajamas all day if I get enough energy in between, I might have a nice bubble bath, but if not, that'll keep till in the morning because husband will be at golf, kids will be in bed, and I'll get peace as well. Right, let's get all the backings off. 
Oh, that one is that one wasn't even stuck. Right, so I'm just going to poke. Can you see that all right? I'm off the screen a little bit. Just using my pokey tool to stab and remove the back ends. So easy. Just don't put your finger in the previous one and get it stuck everywhere. There we go. Oops. I usually use my tip here pick tool because it's a little bit jaggier. A little bit jaggier. It just saves you trying to peel them, peel them off. And of course it's not been as effective as it normally is because I've got an audience. <laughs> Catch you later, Lynn. I will order those goodies for you, hun, and then just I'll let you know how much and you could send it later, pal. If you've got things you need to be doing today. But I will get that ordered later on for you. And Susan, you've got a wee order as well to go in. And also someone's wanting to buy a trimmer, so a lady local to me, so that's nice. Right, we're going to position Oh look. How fab is that? You see how different it looks just when you put the little aprons on. And then, of course, we're going to put like a sentiment on it as well. Right, let's put that one there. And I think I'll put that one. You can put them side by side as well if you like. But I think they're like this. I like them like that. Right, okay. Last one. That there, put that there, yay, awesome, fabulous. And like I say, if you fussy cut out the little, any of the little elements, the little images, you can pop them on as well. I'm going to bring this down a little bit again. I can feel the phone heating up. That's the only thing when you're, you're recording live, it does heat it up. Right, okay, so I will keep all these little scrap bits because I will use them in other, other cards. Right. So, what I think we'll do is I'm going to do to my, to my wonderful mother. Oh, right, okay. Let's do that. Um, to my wonderful mum, sorry. And there's a good one here as well. You can even, uh, I, I know if your mum's not around, you're in my thoughts, mum. And that would be nice. So I'm going to do the one like that. You're in my thoughts, mum. Um, and best ever, mum. And wonderful, mum. There we go. What do you use for aprons? Well, da, 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 this punch. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but the circle punches, the one and three quarters that came back is um, unavailable at the minute. The two inch one's still available, um, but they're 21 pounds. So that's an inclination that these might be going up from 18 pounds. So if, I don't know though, I'm not going to use all panicking or anything. Um, I don't know for sure, but it's a bit strange that the circle ones are that price, but the other ones wouldn't be, if you know what I mean, so. Right, okay, let's do some stamping. So, all I'm going to do is, let me see, what colours now? Um... I think I'm going to do Starry Sky and, well, I'll just make it up as we go. Barbara got the um, circle one at the time. Yes, she did. The um, punch is called, let me see, because that was one of the ones that got free with um, Celebration. Um, I can't look there now, but I will put a wee link because um, I can't get one to my online shop. But um, it is definitely an online store. Right, so I'm going to do a wonderful... I'm just going to stamp out a few of these. Look at that. What a beautiful font. 
if anybody else can remember the name of that um, punch, please shout out because that's just going to bug me now the name of it. I can't remember. <laughs> it's something tag. <laughs> something tag. That's not much use, uh, Louise, for you. <laughs> right, um, next one. So I'm just going to do mum. And I'm just basically, you could use your stamp practice if you wanted to do this. I'm just um, batch stamping down the edge and it helps me keep it nice and straight as well. Is it the essential tag? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. It's lovely though. I'd really want to get my, um, my tag kind of stash up. Not my tag stash up, my, my uh, punches. I'm going to try and not sell them on when they're a tag. Yeah. <clears throat> right, need another block. So this one is, you're in my thoughts, Mum. So I'm just going to do this on the bottom. Oh. A little tribute to the mums that aren't here. Can't say, hi all, I'm here to get me babs. Till me babs gets here. Your babs? Tibby saying, cut an apron from on a bone piece of card, use a corner in. Yes, yes, exactly, Tibby. Hope you're well, hun. That's what it's saying. If you don't have the punches, you could do like a rectangle shape and then a circle shape to get the same effect. Um, or you could use dice and just do it. Hi, Tina. Do it as well. So there's always a way if you haven't got the punches. Might be more effort, but uh, there's always a way. <laughs> Right, so best ever. Right, I think I've got enough. I just absolutely love that font. Right, I just need one set that's going to be in Sweet Sorbet for this green card. Nice bright colours today. So, let me just pop these on. So will just do best ever like that. I love it when that you get this, the stamps. Essential tag. Thank you, Joanna. Thank you. Oh, Louise has already said that. Brilliant. Sorry, Hannah. Missed your comment. So you are good. You're good. You're good. Um, right. I think I'll do best ever. Gran. Now there's not gran in here. However, if you take the grand and just don't stamp on the D, you'll get gran. Okay, so let's see how we do this. So I would just, oh, it's very close. Just kind of line it up to the um, edge of the letter. Let's see how that stamps. No better, long story, but thought I'd be too nice. Let me see what's going on here. Lovely in the ear. Oh, bless. Thank you for the um, swap swap. Right, so there. Best ever gran. Okie doke. Because the boys like to give a card to mum as well, so. Right, let's get these away. It's a beautiful font, isn't it? And of course I'm all inky, and it's always the ones that seem to stain the mostest. But it's all fun. It's all fun. Now, I do have beside me, because my lovely... Um, Australian demo sister suggested, where have I put it? To always have, oh here we go, um, anti-back hand cream. This one's gorgeous because it actually has uh, pure essential oils in it as well. So you get a lovely little fragrance. She said it's a good, oh god it's nipping a sore bit though in my hand. Right, mmm, oh that smells nice. That smells nice. Right, okay, let's go on the sniffing. Now, what you could do is you could, because um, I'm I'm going to do it like block text, um, you could layer them up with a coordinating colour as well, make them pop out a little bit more. It's entirely up to you. Right, my eyes are going a bit squint here. Just as well my scissors aren't. <laughs> I've got my, my glasses on my head there, they should be over my eyes, not on my head, Trisha. If 
anybody's got the little mini um, trimmer, it's perfect for cutting these as well. Or your big trimmer. So we've got a whole array of little sentiments here. We could just mix and match them. I know that this one is for this card though, so I'll just pop that there. And then this one. Just like that. Oh, you're in my thoughts, Mum. Oh, super pretty. Right. Right, I'm going to do that one there. Because I'm getting put off by the smell of this. Um, so apparently the, uh, the um, hand gel is good at taking the ink away. I mean, ink's still there, but... Um, yeah, it makes your hand smell nice pretty much. <laughs> Sorry, that's not much use, Gemma. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, right, so this one I am going to cut in half again. We're going to do best mum ever. So, best mum ever. And I will wear that up on um, some cardstock so it pops out a little bit. Um, this one I think I'll keep plainer. And then this one is best gran ever. And again, I will do split the words because there's lots you can do you could just cut them all up uh, right let's trim it a wee bit don't make them too thin so that your dimensionals don't even fit right so i just I like it to be a little bit more even right so best friend ever <laughs> Uh, best mum ever and these are spares right okay so do you think I should use what colour rather what colour do you think I should layer um, these three sentiments on to say best mum ever and then we're going to put it on like little blocks this one uh, I'm going to do something really cheaty and I'm going to use the Starry Sky and I'm simply going to just dab my sentiment in the ink and that gives it a wee border for quickness as well. I might do that with the others actually. Okay. Right, has anybody got any suggestions what colour I should do? Should I do it the dark blue as well? Let's see if that would be... Oh, yes. Tahitian Tide. Right, okay. Thank you, Louise. So, this is good as well, just adding the ink um, to your sentiment if you've not got the huge amount of room in your card. Mm -hmm. Do, 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 do. Okay, there's that one. That looks quite pretty, doesn't it? Good choice, Louise, look. I think it's lavender I can smell in this hand cream. Right, okay, so that's that one. I'll let it dry. And this one will do parakeet party. Let's do that, let's do that. Right, that's there. So the green one for this. I'm really put off by that smell of the cream. It's nice, but... Okay, so... There is the grand bit. There is best. Sorry if I'm going off the screen. One more little corner. a little bit harder because it's a wee baby size right okay there we go so close all the inks off 
If it's lavender, you'll be asleep soon. <laughs> I think it is. It's, I don't, it doesn't tell you what essential oils it is. It is lavender, neroli, and patchouli essential oils. Don't know if I'm saying that right. Right, okay. So let's get these stuck on. So I want a little tiny dimensionals. Is ink pad permanent? These are all water based. Obviously, if you put it on paper, it's not going to come off. But it does come off your hands if you're a clerk like me. Right, so it's not as stainable as the stays on, no tibby honey. Um, hang on, boys! Right, um, where did I put my little pokey to? Has anybody got that? Oh, there it is. I know how we get inspiration from an idea this cats are stunning. I know. Hi, Karen. I know, from Sam's little bags. It's amazing. Just need one on there. So this is it. Um, once the sentiments are on, that'll be me finished. Which isn't too bad a time. Okay. Just removing the backings. So, best mum ever. Okay, so first word is best. Make sure I'm in shot. Best mum ever. And then you could add little gems or what have you on it, but I think it's enough with the sparkly, sparkly paper. Oh, thanks, Janice, hun. Um, this one is a little bit sadder. You're in my thoughts, Mum. I have used the bigger dimensionals. Boys! My God. Sorry, guys. I'm having a right carry on through there and I'm not quite finished. Don't want too much noise. Right, this one is just going to go in the top left corner. You're in my thoughts. Two dimensionals. Sorry, I'm concentrating. I'm not seeing the comments. Stunning idea. The cards are looking well. Well done. Oh, thank you. Can't say these are so cute. They're pretty, aren't they? So you're in my thoughts, Mum. And then this one for a gran. Best ever gran and I'm leaning on some one bigger ones on that there we go right so remove the back in water base uh, they're water based stinks so that they're made with like ink and water <laughs> so they're water based dye ink Rather than the other one, what's the other kind of ink that's not very, not very good? Right, let's do best here, gran here, ever here, best gran ever. Yeah, lots would work, and this one's really print pretty. That was a prototype that I made, but didn't finish making it. That's super pretty as well. And just a mix of stamps in the back as well. So they're adorable. Pigment, yes. It's not like pigment ink. Um, the water-based inks are really better because they just soak right into your cardstock and give a nice clear finish. As you can see, look how gorgeous that is. Of course, their stamps are good as well. So um, between the stamps and the ink, you're going to get a good good result all the time. Unless you go too hard, of course, or too soft. Um, but there's tools that can help you with that. So, um, One last thing is just the coordinating envelopes. We have Starry Sky. And there's Orchard Oasis as well, I think. But there we go. Beautiful, isn't they? Yay! So, lovely little peeny, peeny cards. Uh, it stays on as a solvent-based ink pad. Yeah, it stays on 
you need your special uh, stays on remover to get it off your stamps. I don't use that a lot, but that is good. The stays on for um, on acetate and vellum and stuff like that. We still need to give it a wee try, a wee dry. Um, yeah, thanks everyone. That's been an hour exactly. So, woohoo! Um, don't forget if you need anything ordered, send me a little message. Um, I'll order that in um, with my own stuff at tea time. Post it on to you when it comes, and that will save you a wee bit on the on the shipping. So. Um, whatever your plans later on, have a good one. I will um, be sharing my craft along stuff in the team group soon for the ladies that are in my team. So I'll catch up with you all later. Thanks, folks, and um, have a great um, weekend, guys. Bye.